All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and today we're gonna build an HTPC that's the size of a PS5. The case we're gonna use is a Silverstone ML07, and it's this little sucker right here. Size of a PS5. So let's first do a overview of the case itself. We've got mounting for two fans on the back. Non-removable back panel. Two screws hold the back on. Pretty normal back panel. Front I.O. We've got obviously our normal connectors. USB 3.0. Here is the cage for our power supply, as well as it will mount a three and a half inch hard drive. You've got mounting for two and a half inch SSDs here. And then you've got this little plastic piece. We'll talk about this plastic piece in a minute. Now this comes off with six screws. Now this just sits in here like this. It comes with this riser as well as a second riser to meet the graphics card. And it's two slots for a two slot GPU. Pre-set up run of your power cable to, for your power supply. It comes with an accessory box, GPU riser that you have to use. You don't have a choice, it won't plug in otherwise. You've got rubber feet for it to stand vertical, as well as rubber feet, as well as a badge. If you wanna lay it like this, GPU hold up bracket to support it, as well as a bag of screws. Now let's talk about the parts that are go in it. For CPU, we're using a 12600KF Gigabyte Motherboard H610i Micro ATX. For graphics, we're gonna use a 2080 Super. I have it and it'll fit in this chassis very well. RAM, we're using a low profile kit from Corsair, 16 gigabytes. Cooler, we're gonna use a Thermalrite Classic. I did a video um, comparing this to other low profile coolers. Power supply, we're gonna use a 600 watt from Thermaltake on the edge of power supply, but for my use case, it should be fine. Now this one is not getting torn down. This will get put into actual use for my daughter. Currently, my kids have a 7700K with a 2080 black from EVGA that they both game on in the rec room. My son is also a gamer, so he's got a PS5 and all that stuff happens in the rec room and my daughter's tired of waiting for the PC. <laughs> and she plays with her boyfriend, games like Rainbow Six Siege. She also plays Sims. So this should be plenty for her, for her needs. In this current build, I'm gonna use a existing Windows install, but it'll be swapped out. There's no heat sink on the SSD. And so I've got to order a SSD that has a heat sink. So that'll come after the, video, but I think it'll be pretty cool. All right, so first things first, we need to get our power supply in here. Now there is a weird little thing about this power cable. If you run it like this, it barely fits and it's gonna run all over your IO on your motherboard. So you kind of have to adapt it like this to kind of get your power supply in. And you're gonna need a long screwdriver like this because the two screws on this side are really hard to get to. For airflow in the case you want this, the fan mounted downward. Now mounting this, it kind of goes in on a friction fit. Now with the power supply, you kind of want to run your cable like that. And on this power supply, it has to kind of go around a bend, but you want to have this cable kind of routed like that. And then it's got these slots in the back of the case to get it to line up. Like so. Now personally, I'm, now I'm just gonna reuse some NZXT fans. I had them, I thought I had two Corsair non-RGB fans, but I don't, so we're gonna set those as intake, get our motherboard in. It does have these weird fan connectors that I have to use. Our 
12600K. Get it all locked in there. Of course, we need to go ahead and mount our RAM. Sixteen gigabytes should be more than enough for what she does. Go ahead and get our SSD installed. Now this, like I said, is a placeholder. I gotta get one with a heat sink because there is no heat sink on this one. And I don't want her SSD running hot and dying. Because, you know, it's an, it's an HTPC. They already are gonna run hot. So I have access to this. I can just swap it out when the time comes to, you know, give it to her. All right, now we got to do the cooler. All right. All right. Blue ones for seventeen hundred. We put our brackets on, and then we can go ahead and get the motherboard in. All right. Well, that I/O shield on this case is easier said than done. We can go ahead and put in our motherboard. And because it's a micro ATX case, it can be a little tight. Make sure all of our IO is okay. Plug in our CPU. Our graphics card. Now we need one four pin header on this side. We got that in, we can cable manage that before we finish up. Graphics card will come over here. And then we've got our CPU power. All right, we got cable management, kind of cable managed. It's not a lot of room and it's kind of stuffed in places. So probably need to re-run that different place. We'll go ahead and put the cooler on, MX4. Now before I install the cooler. I went ahead and hooked up the fan so I don't have to reach that. <laughs> Take our cooler, kind of figure out the best way you definitely down. Work it down gentle-like. So it bottoms out. I'm gonna go ahead and mount up our fan. Pay no attention to the different fans. The NZXTs, either the holes are kind of hogged out and won't hold, or the one that wasn't is a three wire, so I went ahead and swapped in this one Corsair I've got. I'll swap these fans out for matching Noctua's or something like that, be quiet. But for now, to get this video done, we're gonna not mess with that. All right, so let's talk this bracket. First thing we gotta do is obviously take off the IO shields, take our GPU, And again, you have to use this riser. It will not fit 
it won't connect if you just put it in there without it. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but it's about that far short. So unfortunately with this case, you do have adapters in the system. So go ahead and get this mounted up. Got it mounted up. Go ahead, put our screws in. A little awkward. Now we've also got a brace we need to install, you know, for sag. Now it's two brackets. One kind of slots in. Doesn't go that far, so we'll have to go like right there to get that supported. Screw right there. And then we've got a couple different brackets for different size graphics card. This one will be this one. And we do the same thing, except right there. And make sure our graphics card stays supported. So that'll hold it. And then we can go ahead and install it. Now installing, obviously <laughs> you're gonna need to have everything plugged up. And yes, I hate these combo stupid plugs that always ne don't ever wanna go together. All right. Of course we gotta get it to, you know, fit in here. I didn't say getting it in that slot was easy. It's not. <laughs> All right. Get some screws in here. Typical small form factor case. Not much room. Now to actually get the GPU out, there is room to actually reach down there and hit the tab. So it's not that bad to get the GPU out. It's just six screws and then hit that tab and it pumps, pops out. So. Side goes on pretty damn easy. All right, so it's running. I've got heaven running in the background. It's a little bit of a hot box, kind of expected. Ran R23 on it. CPU is at 92 degrees after 10 minutes. So it's a hot box. Now it does have a grill right over the CPU cooler. So my daughter is not gonna be running R23 constantly. So it'll be fine. Now, one thing I may do, let me know in the comments if you want to see this, I may remove the two fans completely and just let the GPU pull from these vents by themselves, see if it helps the GPU temperatures a little bit. I don't know. The GPU is at 72, 74 degrees Celsius, so it's running a little hot. It's a Founders Edition 2080 Super, so not unexpected, but... I don't know if these fans on the side that go right under the GPU are helping or hurting it. So let me know if you wanna see that video. But other than that, it's currently running and it's well, barely bigger than a PS5. So pretty cool, pretty cool build. My daughter is gonna love it. <laughs> She's already said she loves it. And she'll get to play Siege and SimCity whenever she wants to instead of when my son's not <laughs> on the computer. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.